Hey, what's up, word of mouth bot community? This is Tariel Sultan. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks, resources, and some tools to help you better set up your organization and your entire business structure so you can confidently go out there, show up like a pro, and start to close these small businesses and to make that passive income happen on a month to month basis. Without further ado, let's get into it. So tip number one, in case you want to reserve a domain name for your business or for your operation, don't come to these domain hosting sites because you can see here I entered the keyword local reviews. Obviously, .com is taken and then it's going to show you limited features here, right? It's going to show you limited options. Instead, come to this site called link domain search. I entered the same keyword here, local reviews, right? You don't have to type .com. What happens here is either it's going to show you that domain is available or it's going to add one word in the front or in the end to make this domain available for you. You can see localreviewsblog.com is available. If I click on this, it's going to show me this entire domain is available to buy. So you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on this premium domain. Same as another website here called the Domain Whale. I typed in here local reviews, click on search domain. If you want to stick to .com, just basically uncheck everything else. Click on search domain one more time. Again, with the same logic, it's going to add a word or two at the end to make this domain available. And here is tip number two, just in case you're still struggling with a business name, what we can do is we can leverage artificial intelligence. Come to this website called Name Licks. The link is in the description below. I type the keyword here, review, click on generate, and I want to choose the randomness, right? You want to go super random or you want to go less random. You can go with the default medium and click on generate and look at what happens within two to three seconds, AI helped us generate a whole bunch of name. And on top of it, the logo has been designed almost ready to go. For example, right, really creative name here, review knowledge or technology. If you think about it, we're dealing with a tech product here, right? Technology with a review together that gives people impression. And all you need to do is click on it once and it's going to open up this window. It's going to show you different types of design, right? You can keep scrolling and keep that in mind. You can save it. You can edit it. However, if you do want to use this logo, I do recommend you to give it a twist. You know what I I mean, once you put your own little creation, now that becomes a unique. So you don't have to worry about plagiarism and all that stuff. So this again is our number one option for me to go to just to have a brainstorm of ideas and business names. In terms of logo creation, I have a one more recommendation with the AI called logomaster.ai. Again, I entered here market review, click on create logo. We need to pick one of the options here. Is this a business? Is this a product? In this case, let's go with a company organization. We just need to choose three different style and then click on next. Now look at this color spectrum, right? Let's go with this pink red ish color. And now market review is the name. Click on next. And then because we're dealing with the review, let's search up star and give it a search. Let's pick one of these star symbol and click on see results. You can see that the AI had generated a whole bunch of logo ideas for us. Tip number three, this is really helpful if you want to customize the form for your customers or potential customers. You can see here we have a background color, we have a button color and we have a font color. So what you want to do is you kind of want to go to their website. You want to pay attention to the branding color that they use, right? Sometimes the branding color is reflected in their logo. And if you want to be more accurate in terms of entering the correct color code, here's a trick for you. Come to this website called HTML Color Codes. The link is in the description below. Click on upload file and you want to locate this logo. You can see when I hover my mouth on top of this color, give it a one click, it will automatically pick up that color code, which is this one. And you can come to your dashboard and enter this button color. You can see it's more precise and more accurate in terms of picking the right color. Again, this is that small little touch, but your client feels you put some extra care into branding themselves. And tip number four, if you want to quickly put up a landing page together, then this is one of the topic for you. It's called card.co. In here, it comes with a tons and tons of these pre-made templates. For example, you can choose the landing page right here. You can basically just navigate through in this entire list to pick the option that you like. You can hover over it, click on demo. It'll show you how the final product looks like, right? You can see here, this is how it loads. 
super crisp and really high quality. If you just want to quickly swap your logo on top of it, change these verbiage, and basically it's ready to go. You can post some testimonial or screenshot of your results. So basically I choose one of these templates to work with. You can see everything is drag and drop. Click it once and you can change these titles and you can change the headers and you can see step number one, step two, step three, and really straightforward. And in here you can post a whole bunch of gallery of your testimonials and results. And then at the end you can do your pricing you can link this button to word of mouth bot your affiliate link so people can right away sign up for free trial right and this is responsive or mobile friendly you can call it you can see if i shrink it it's basically this is how it loads on the mobile for example you can add a video click on plus add a video drag and drop this box underneath the product and from there you can embed a video from youtube vimeo twitch facebook and google drive once you're done with it click on save you can give it a title and description and guess what if you want to go with their domain which is card.co this entire thing is free if you want to put your own custom domain then you can upgrade to their pro plan i don't have any affiliate with them i just randomly came across and i kind of like this platform everything is loaded up super fast the pro plan is 20 bucks for an entire year you can build 10 different sites and you can customize your domain to your own branded domain so this way you can quickly put up a lander together and tip number six sometimes you do need an attractive profile photo or LinkedIn profile Twitter IG Facebook you name it because you never know right your potential customers can be just one click away by checking your profile picture if you don't have a good profile picture that could be a fact of their decision making so here's a two different website that's gonna get you awesome attractive looking profile photo under a few clicks first one here is called a profile picture maker the link is in the description below you just need to scroll down and you want to insert a photo you can see here I've made a whole bunch of different types of photo all you need to do is just drag and drop and load it to your social media or your landing pages in this case I'm gonna load one to show you guys how everything looks like you can adjust the thickness and I want to choose the opacity all the way, turn all the way up. And then you can choose different gradients, right? Different colors. You just want to pick the one that you like. Once you're happy with it, click on save image. That's it. This is a high quality PNG file we made under a few clicks. Here's a different website, pftmaker.com. Again, same logic, click on plus. We want to load one of these photos. You can see that not only it removed my background, it also swapped to different type of background colors, right, of your choice. There's different shape, different type of style, right? You can pick the one that you like, or you can customize by clicking on these options and add to different color, you can see right super easy once you're happy with one of them click on this download button it will again download a png file into your download folder you can save this on a google drive or on your phone you can load it within a few clicks not only you can use this profile images on your social media you can also create awesome signature which leads to my next tip tip number seven you do need an awesome professional signature luckily hotspots offer this email signature generator is completely free all you need to do is choose the templates of your choice and you can add all this signature detail including your name your job titles your department company name your phone number and so forth right once you're done with everything click on create signature and just want to type in your company name and uh, click on confirm and submit and what you can do here is copy the signature or you can copy the source code which is the html source code look at what happens when i click on copy signature and come to my email if i click on paste you can simply insert this email signature at the end of every single email tip number eight i'm not a copywriter sometimes writing email can be tough right that's why i want to check out this website called the swipe folder swipe folder has a whole bunch of different categories but in this case we have an email swipe files basically here is an entire list of email sample you can come here to pull some inspiration for example you can see number one says cold email here's another template right you can go follow up there's a whole bunch of different types of template for you to basically pull inspiration and you can combine the sentence to create your own email template tip number nine i'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with the keyword tools these four different sites are the one that i personally use i find to be reliable for example let's test them out i'm going to type dentist new york click on research same here i'm going to type it here enter 
third one here, enter, and the fourth one, enter. And let's look at what kind of results we have, right? Sometimes you might want to explain to a client that how many search volume is coming to a certain keywords. Here we typed in Dentist New York. You can see there's 4,400 monthly search volume and each CPC is cost per click that people pay for Google Ads is worth 2.81. That's how much this keyword that's worth. If I can bring you 1,000 of the organic traffic to your website, that means that 1,000 traffic is worth $2,800. So it's a really more visual way for your prospect to understand how much you're charging them versus how much results you're bringing them, right? If you charge them $500, you say, let's give you 500. Let's use this system to bring you 500 more organic traffic every month. That itself is worth $1,400. Here's another site. They display the data slightly different. That's why I don't just rely on single one you want to always have these four open just to check each one of them here's the second side that's showing dentist new york is a 6.15 cost per click 3600 volume versus the third website word tracker here it shows that dentist new york has 4400 here's the results from this fourth site which is dentist 4400 a 2.81 tip number 10 this is going to be my very last tip so this tip is going to really boost your productivity in terms of email outreach so there's different levels to play outreach game i'd love to show you guys some advanced method in terms of scraping google map data bring them to a google sheets and and then basically cold email outreach from the Google Sheets. So if you show that interest, I'll make that happen for you. Give you an idea, right? I come to my Google map, typed Dentist Vancouver here. So what you want to do is basically scroll on this entire list until you find a potential prospect that you want to reach out to them and you want to potentially help them out to boost some of the reviews, right? For example, I found here called Kitsilano Dental Group. They only have eight review 4.0. There's definitely something we can help to boost a little bit more reviews use for them. First thing you want to do is you want to click on their website. On their website, they always have some sort of a contact option. If you want to quickly find contact, you can always do command F. You can do a search to contact. It will quickly locate this word contact for you. You can either click on contact us. Normally, they will give you a form or in this case, you can see it, there is an email address and as well as a form here, right? So what I want to do is click on email address. You can type the subject line however you want. However, check out my fastest way to do outreach. I want to copy their brand name. So what happened here is I pre-composed a template I can call on demand. Instead of typing the email like, hi, my name is, right? This is going to take you forever. What I do is forward slash GG stands for Google, right? Outreach. And look at what happens. I have an, an app open. It says warm bot review outreach. It says, what's the business name? Remember, I copied the business name earlier. All I need to do is uh, paste this business name and click on press and enter. It will automatically load an entire email. It will automatically grab that business name into the email and it's going to embed into the right place. This is not the one that I use, but I just created this template to show you guys illustrate to you guys how you can really speed up that outreach process. And now let me show you behind the curtain. This app I'm using is called a type desk. So you can see I can create a template or respond what they call it. If I click on this edit, this is how it looks like. I created a custom field called it a business name, right? So every time this is the unique dynamically updated field, but remaining email is all ready to go. So I don't have to really do anything. I compose it once and then the only existing variable is going to be business name. So that leads to my final thought. Overall, so many tools that's available for us. We just need to be professional, be confident and be creative. And let me know which two specifically stood out to you that you didn't know and you benefited from it. I'd love to give them a read. And also, if you have any content recommendations or some sort of a trouble or an issue you face down the road, I'm happy to make them into a video for you. This is Toriel Sultan signing out. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.